Three advanced techniques of your dog training like police dog. After we bring the dog to our house and have named them it is a very important task to train them as well so as to enhance their attachment with our family members. The method of educating a dog to perform various deeds in response to our commands is the basis of the police dog training methods. We must train our dogs to obey us by understanding our commands properly. There are several methods of training. Dogs may be trained to follow some commands to obey us or to be obedient. They may also perform tricks, these require more advanced training. They can also help in guiding the blind or rescuing the victims in times of emergency. Some dogs are used for hunting purposes, herding cattle, tracking, and retrieving. There are snuff dogs used by police departments that aid in tracing out the culprits. So whatever the nature of the job, the dog is involved, they are trained accordingly to serve us. Positive reinforcement. Purely positive reinforcement is a method popularized by trainers like Don Sylvia Stasiewicz, who trained the Obama's dog. The theory behind it is fairly straightforward. Dogs will repeat good behavior when it's followed by a reward. Bad behavior does not get a reward or acknowledgement. If a correction needs to happen, it comes in the form of the removal of rewards, like a toy or treats being taken away. Harsh reprimands or physical punishments aren't necessary. This training method begins with rewarding the desired behavior immediately, within seconds after it happens. That way, the dog comes to associate the behavior with the reward. Some trainers combine this method with clicker training. This gives the dog a distinct sign of the exact moment the behavior was completed. Commands also need to be short and to the point, sit, stay, come. Positive reinforcement requires consistency. Therefore, everyone in your household needs to use the same commands and reward system. Start with continuous rewards every time your dog does the right thing. Then, Gradually move to intermittent rewards as the behavior becomes consistent. Sometimes beginner trainers accidentally reward bad behavior. For example, they might let the dog outside when they start barking at a squirrel or another dog. Only wanted behaviors get rewards, which can include treats, toys, praise, and pets. It can also be easy to overfeed when your dog is learning, so use small treats when you are rewarded with food. This method is great for learning commands, but you need patience for correcting unwanted behaviors. Scientific Training Science-based dog training can be difficult to define, as it relies on information that is continually building and changing. It aims to understand dogs' nature, their ability to be conditioned, and the effectiveness of rewards and punishments. Animal behaviorists are constantly creating new studies and experiments to shape our understanding of dog psychology. Trainers rely on these studies to work with dogs. Before a behavior is corrected, everything about that behavior must be understood. Because science-based dog training is so broad, it's hard to pinpoint an overarching methodology behind it. In fact, a lot of the methods used in scientific dog training are used by other forms of training. For the most part, there is a reliance on operant conditioning, which mostly includes positive reinforcement and, less often, some forms of punishment. Some scientific trainers believe that it's also important to learn how to strengthen good behavior without the need for rewards and to rely on dog psychology to find ways to improve off-leash relationships between humans and their pups. Scientific training relies on doing a good deal of research and staying updated on the latest studies. For that reason, it may be best for professional trainers, since the methods they use are often effective whether you know the science behind them or not, and other forms of training already employ many of those methods. Also, developing new methods based on research may not be appropriate for everyone. Still, it's a good idea for dog parents to stay informed and pay attention to a new research when it becomes available. Alpha Dog or Dominance Alpha Dog or Dominance training relies on a dog's instinctual pack mentality to create a relationship of submission and dominance. 
The theory suggests that dogs see their families as their packs and follow a social hierarchy, as observed in captive wolf packs. When a dog sees themselves as the alpha, they need to learn to instead respect their human as the alpha and submit. Some methods used in this technique include understanding dog body language and responding accordingly, projecting confidence and authority, and going first when it comes to eating, entering, or leaving rooms, or walking on a leash. If your dog wants to go out, then they have to sit before you open the door. If they want to eat, then they have to wait calmly while you prepare food. Generally, with alpha training, you don't allow your dog on furniture with you, including the bed. You also don't get down to your dog's eye level. That's because these are signs that your dog has equal standing in the relationship. You are in charge, you are dominant. Caesar Milan popularized this training method. However, he sometimes combines dominance training with other methods when appropriate. Some modern trainers say this technique is outdated, as new research has shown that dogs do not rely on pack mentality as much as previously thought, and the pack dynamic of wolves isn't structured in the wild the same way it was when the animals were observed in captivity. Although dominance training can curb unwanted behaviors, modern dog trainers often find it antiquated. It can fail to address the underlying causes of bad behavior and leave dogs feeling anxious or fearful. The dominance struggle becomes constant and needs consistent reinforcement, which can be difficult or even dangerous for children or the elderly. What dog training method works best for you? Are there any other methods that you find helpful? Let us know in the comments below.